Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to part 6 of Let's Play Super Metroid 100% Speedrun. I am Draco Thubin, and let's get going. Alright, uh, we just got some more uh, power bombs, and uh, we're heading up towards the uh, wrecked ship area. And I just got munched on by a giant mouth. It's great. There's a little bit more that we got to do in this area before we get out, but uh, not too much. Ouch. Okay, um, yep, this is the door. Okay, now two uh, power bombs will take these guys out. So, uh, whoops. We don't want to get nabbed though. Um, but the... Oh, okay. That's no good. Oh, whatever! Okay, now let's get out of here. Okay, now what you want to do is you want to fall down that one and not get tore up by the other ones. And you have to kill those uh, three um, jumping enemies in order to... Uh, I might freeze that guy in the first place in order to open this door back up. So, anyway, I'm done with that finally. And I can get the heck out of here. Another painfully long elevator. Halfway tempted to start fast forwarding past those things, but I'm going to keep it pure, as pure as possible anyway. Okay, I'm going to try something once. Um, it's a, a nice way to get through um, a good chunk of, uh, or just the, the area leading up to the um, wrecked ship, um, but it's kind of difficult to do uh, all at once, so I'm going to see if I can't get it figured out. I'm not going to try it too, well, I'm going to try it maybe once or twice, but that's it. I, I don't need to... I don't need to go all out on it, so. Yeah, that's okay. Um, you normally you want to jump through the door. Once you get through the door, you want to shoot a missile and then do the shine spark, because the missile will actually open up this door. But I can just do another shine spark on this side. It's not a big deal. Um, you have to do a, a short shine spark to make it here. Um, to do that, um, what you need to do is, because of the way um, it counts frames, it counts um, uh, on, an odd, on odd numbers of frames, um, you hold down um, left or right first uh, for a couple of frames, and then you start holding down your um, run button. And uh, if done correctly, you'll actually charge up in less space than you normally would. So, and, and it's a good way to uh, uh, shine up in, in short distances. Okay, now um, you're going to want to come down here, bust that hole in the wall, and get through this uh, area before the ship turns on. That way you can go ahead and avoid all these uh, spikes and stuff. Spikes, These spikes don't even hurt when they're not turned on, so it makes it a lot easier. Okay, now we're going to be coming up against the hardest boss, uh, well, in my opinion, in the game, um, especially because what we have to, to actually destroy him with is not a lot, so I'm going to see if I can't get a little bit of health um, before we go ahead and, and start this thing. Um, the boss coming up is uh, named Fantoon, um, and uh, he is only vulnerable a very short percentage of the time. 
and if you shoot him with super missiles, he goes crazy uh, with this fire that he throws. So now there's a way to avoid it. So I'm gonna try that this time around, but um, we'll see how it all works out. That should be enough. All right. <clears throat> Now here's a weird little thing. If you um, if you can actually wall jump off this guy, make some shake. Kind of weird. And those eye doors, of course, one or uh, one super missile or three regular missiles will take care of them. Now he's gonna dance around and throw flames at me. Um, when he opens his eye is when he's vulnerable. And you can shoot the uh, the flames with just your regular beam or whatnot. So. Now watch. Here's what he does. But the trick is to do a uh, a pseudo. Pseudo screw attack, and you will pass right through them. Oops! As long as you're doing the pseudo screw attack, you'll go right through those things. So. Now, the first time he opens his eye, it's only his eye that is uh, vulnerable. But the second time, when he goes completely opaque, his whole body is vulnerable. So, a little bit of a difference to watch out for. He's in a hurry. He wants to get this fight over with. Oops. Ow. Okay. Getting there. Now the pattern he normally does is he's visible throwing fires, then he's invisible throwing fires, then he appears and has that large hail of fires coming down after you. Now it's also possible to simply spin jump over these flames. Um, it's just a lot more difficult than doing this. So it's a lot easier if you have the charge beam. So just get the charge beam before you come here. It's pretty easy. I just recently learned about this technique, so I didn't think you could just pass through the fire like that before, but you learn things all the time, especially about games you think you know everything about. So yeah, we killed him, and we can get some life back. And what do we get for killing him? The wrecked ship turns on. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and stop now. Uh, I will see you next time on part 7 of 100% uh, Metroid, Super Metroid Speedrun uh, with Draco Thuban. Have a great day and thanks for watching.